Hi, I'm Will. I'm here at Maker Faire 2012 with Scott Cassell from the Underwater Voyager Project. Scott, how you doing? Good morning. How are you doing? Doing great, man. What you have behind us is a submarine that you guys have built and designed yourself. Can yeah. you? I want to hear all about this. Well, if there's a long story to it. It took us six years to build it. <laughs> six years. That's okay. a long time. That's a long time. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the submarine, though. Well, we found the hull uh, in the backyard of somebody's house rusting in a pile. It was actually a <laughs> sub built in the 60s. Okay. And we rescued the hull x-rayed it, made sure everything was okay, and basically redesigned the entire sub around the pressure vessel, which is what you see today. It's actually a research vessel. It can hold 248 pounds of scientific instruments in the back, okay. specially designed with counterweight foam, and uh, all the telemetry can fit inside the sub. And it's a submersible, it's a tool to be for public benefit knowledge of the ocean's condition. In so, other words, every scientist can be a part of the program, any kid can be a part of the program, and big kids like yourself can be a part of it too. <laughs> Very cool, and it's, it's a, you said it's a two-man submarine, right? Yeah, two, I, I call it a one-and-a-half man sub because you and I would have a hard time fitting inside of it. You have to be cozy. Yeah, you really have to like each other, and you're, you're the first person is lying down in the uh, prone position, and their head is inside the 16-inch port. And you know, if you've ever been in a push-up position, your head's up, after about 45 minutes, you're done. Yeah. So usually those dives are only an hour long, but it's a cool hour. The pilot sits up with his head up inside the dome, oh, and he's comfortable. That's fantastic. Yeah. And you said you can, how, how deep can you go, and how, what's your duration underwater? Well, she's rated to 500 feet deep, and uh, we have 72 hours of life support, okay. but our mission day is 10 hours based on thruster operations and battery control. As she is right now, we've only had her down 14 times, but she has 28 dives before that in the old configuration, and her whole life is less than 100 dives. So it's basically a brand new sub, even though it's 35 years old. So the Undersea Voyager project, is there's, there's a larger aspect to this as well, because you're working on a habitat as well, right? Yeah, we are. It's the first manned undersea habitat that drifts in free ocean water. It's, uh, wow, okay, so so explain how this works. This sounds exciting. Well, it's, it is, it, we're actually in the process of building it. This isn't like an idea, this is happening now. And we're building the habitat itself out of two large dumpsters, which have been <laughs> donated for us, and we did that on purpose. It's the exactly the same kind of steel that we need to make the habitat, but because it's made out of dumpsters, it fits, because we're gonna be studying trash in the oceans, and we're using dumpsters okay. to do it with. But up above it is gonna be a big buoy that supplies us with electricity, breathing air, and communications. And there's a satellite link on that buoy up to the shore so that kids can watch us in real time during our exploration undersea. So where, where are you going to be exploring? Are you looking at Pacific Garbage Patch and that kind of thing? or Eventually we want to, but uh, open ocean is a dangerous place to do business. So we're going to do things right along the coast. Okay. But we're very lucky because here in California, the coast uh, shoreline has a current going from north to south. So we launch it in uh, Santa Barbara and we go all the way to San Diego and pick it back up. Okay, fantastic. Well, that this sounds this is really cool. Where can people find out more about you, Scott? Well, uh, our website is underseavoyagerproject.org, O-R-G, because I'm a nonprofit. Okay. And uh, you can be a part of it both as a volunteer, as a scientist, or a donor if you don't want to do anything else. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome.